Hey guys, it's Boo from Mile High Distilling. About a month or so ago, we showed you how to make a really simple wash called a sugar wash on our channel. About maybe three weeks ago or so, we actually had a viewer request to show a flute running in pot still mode. We took that sugar wash, put it in our boiler, and basically made like a stripping type run for what was supposed to be a vodka originally. Made it about 160 proof, uh, very flavorful, residual flavor of vodka in a way. Now we're finally completing what we originally set out to do. We're going to be taking that distilled vodka, we've got five gallons worth, running it through our still now in full reflux mode and attempting to achieve an azeotropic level of spirit. That's 190 proof. That's what how you would classify a vodka at a professional standard. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. We're going to be pouring these in and we'll proceed from there. So one thing you might notice is we have a gallon that we left out of the solution in here. There was two main reasons for that. Number one is, provided I did my calculations correct, if we have five gallons of about 130 proof vodka in or shine in this boiler, it's going to leave me about a gallon and a half of free water space. And remember, we, we want 40% ABV or below in this boiler, nothing more. So, I ran my calculations correct. If we had all five gallons in here topped off with that water, we wouldn't meet that minimum. So uh, we just used four, but it works out because another thing we're gonna be doing here is side-by-side -side comparisons. We're gonna see just how much this flute is stripping in reflux mode. We're gonna take, it's not really a residual flavor vodka, but it's, it's packed, it's very sweet vodka. And I wanna see, compare it to our, what should be completely neutral vodka. So it'll be a fun little experiment. All right, guys, so we are dripping. We're sitting about 180 proof right now. So I'm gonna be making some small adjustments and trying to get this in the right place. So Austin has shared some pretty good tips on this. What he does is, remember this defamator is really touchy. If you provide enough water, a cold water source to this defamator, it's gonna go into basically a, a full reflux mode. So nothing will distill out. We're barely at a drip. Uh, we're just gonna let everything kind of be going down and reboiling, and that should hopefully make up for this 10 proof we're losing. We're trying to get to that 190. We're gonna let everything boil in here, reboil, go through these plates that are bubbling away, and then in about 10 minutes, we'll loosen up on it slowly, push things over, and uh, you know we might have to make small adjustments here and there to get there, but we should hopefully be at 190 at that point. Now regarding 190, before this whole journey we've been at trying to achieve this, I guess I was pretty, I had some misinformation in my head. I thought it was much harder of a process than what I guess I've been told the past few weeks. Austin at Balmer Peak, he's got a nine section, six inch flute from us. He's able to achieve it pretty easy. I have a few customers that are kind of saying the same thing, that they were able to achieve that. Um, I think it's just about kind of dialing things in. I did try to do this about five or so years ago. and It was really hard for me. Maybe chalked it up to not having a, enough experience. Maybe my equipment was an issue. The way I was doing things was an issue. So I'm excited to try again with a little more knowledge under my belt and hopefully get there. Speaking of misinformation, one thing I was wrong about were these plates. I always assumed that in order to get the max amount of reflux, 100% reflux, all these caps had to be on the same side. I didn't realize that when you did that and everything was on the same side, it basically plugs you up so you're not getting any reflux. So for these plates, you want your tops caps facing up and that's giving you your reflux. And then you'll have one at the bottom and that's allowing things to actually push back down into the other plates. 
and create that reboil effect. I'm learning a lot just actually distilling. I've, I've been at Mile High a long time and I thought, you know, for the most part, I thought I, in a way, knew everything, which is very foolish of me. You should never assume that. So I'm learning a lot actually getting in distilling. I'm glad we can do this for you guys. We're learning more on our, our side as well. So it's been really enlightening, very fun experience. So while we're waiting for this reflux mode to do what it needs to do, let's explain our setup a little bit. So as you can see, we have six of these sections. Each section is gonna have a bubble plate. So we have six bubble plates in here. Then we have our deflamator. Right now it's pretty cold to the touch because we're trying to get in full reflux mode with it. From there, we just have our reducer, our U-bin, to bring everything over into our condensing line, which is pretty much ice cold. And then if you watched the last video, you're familiar with the rest. We have a breather cup and then we have our parrot. So parrot's allowing everything to drip in as well as give us real-time proof readings. That's how we know we're at 180. Another thing that we added in that I forgot to mention, this needle valve. This is going to be pretty important if you're trying to achieve this 190 proof as far as I'm concerned. A ball valve just doesn't cut it, at least the experience I've had with one. So a really high precision needle valve is a good add-on to get for a flute if you're attempting to do this on your own. Let's try to get a close-up of these plates so we can see it in action. We are at 188 right now. We've made a few adjustments. So as Austin explained to me, which helped me, is what we essentially did is kept things in full reflux mode for about 10 minutes or so, uh, then slightly eased up on this needle valve here and allowed us to introduce a little bit more vapors coming through. So we, we were getting a little bit of a drip, um, coupled with a few small adjustments on the controller, got us to about 185. We went back and did that same process again, held it there for maybe another five or so minutes, and now we're sitting at 188. So we've just refilled our ice bath water recirculation chamber, getting this a little bit colder, which may help. Made a few small adjustments on the controller, open our valves up a little bit more, and we're hoping that's gonna be the added push we need to get to that 190. So guys, we, we did it. We're, we're sitting here at 190. We're gonna do a close up here, but we have effectively achieved that ASIO. Guys, you know what this high proof means, right? It's a celebratory shot, folks. There's no other alternative. Everyone, get a shot glass ready. Take this with me, folks. We did it. Guys, I'm really happy that we are filling up our first gallon jug and staying consistently at 190. The way I always saw things is getting to 190 is one story and staying there consistent is another. I don't know how true that is because obviously my perceptions of 190 have been a little skewed up until now, but I'm just glad we're consistently pushing that out. We're not dropping too much. When we refilled our water recirculation tank, filled it with fresh ice, we did see a little bit of that drop, that variable in temperature kind of screwed us a little bit, but we're back in flow, we're staying where we need to be, and we're just pushing through, creating this, uh, this first jar. In a second here, we're probably gonna do a, a comparison between our, our two spirits, our 190 proof vodka and our 160 proof sugar shine, moonshine, whatever you wanna call it. And we're gonna see just what that's doing. The, the taste test we've done here, it's alcohol, that's, that's, that's it. It's, um, I guess I was expecting a little more stripped and maybe that was foolish of me to, to think that, but we'll just have to see. We'll do, we'll do our side by side here shortly. Do, do stay tuned to a future video where we're gonna be filtering this as well. So now when we filter, we're gonna have a comparison between our sugar shine, our 190 proof vodka, and then our 190 proof vodka filtered. And we're really gonna see there. So stay tuned if you haven't already, like this video, subscribe to our channel. We're gonna have future content, all kinds of different content. So now's the moment of truth, guys. We're gonna go ahead and try both spirits out and see if we really notice what's going on here. So as you guys might be able to tell, 
kind of filling it a little bit, spilling a tiny bit. And right hand here is the 190 proof, and left hand here is 160. There's a hell of a difference there. So I don't really know how to describe what's going on here. Our pot still, I think I messed up. I think I grabbed the final gallon jug of our initial run. So basically tails. Um, not always a bad thing. Sometimes tails bring over characteristic. This is just funky. There's something in the pot still mode. Um, it's almost sweaty. I don't really know how to describe it. Right side, I like our clean vodka. It uh, tastes like alcohol, maybe a, a, maybe a hint of alcohol. You know, there's also a little bit of alcohol on the back end. It's, it's you know, it's, it's alcohol. It's, it's good. <laughs> so let's go ahead and pull that second jug and enter our third. And as we fill about half a gallon full in this third gallon jug, we're noticing a pretty consistent loss in proof. We've done a few things since then. One thing we did was that jug I had that was supposed to be for comparison, with it being tails, I really messed up there. I really should have brought something earlier in, in the run and uh, we just didn't want to keep it. It was just not good. It wasn't a good comparison. We want prime, right? So we threw that back in the boiler. So we're gonna expect around another uh, close to a gallon out from that, but we're, we're, we're diminishing here. We're at 130, 140 proof from our original 190. Remember in this boiler, we threw pre-distilled alcohol in that we had distilled previously, but that wasn't all hearts. It wasn't all at 160. We were throwing tails in that were about 100 proof or so at minimum. So we're seeing all that now. We're definitely there um, nearing the end of the run. I think we may be filling up this gallon and potentially putting another half a gallon worth of a jug full um, in the future. So we'll keep you updated. In the meantime, I do want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any suggestions for future videos or things that we can even do with this vodka, please be sure to leave a comment. If you have any notes on what we could have done for this vodka, something we can do to improve this vodka, please leave a comment. We, we want to hear that. And as we sit at about 130 proof, I think we're gonna switch out for a fourth jar. Now we're kind of debating here and we're using our taste tests to kind of determine. I think we're right now thinking about going down to about 80 proof and cutting things there. But again, taste is really going to tell us where to stop. We're just gonna keep going until we don't like what we're tasting anymore. So who knows, that could be at 120 proof, that could be at 40 proof. We don't really know. So far we have our three full jars and also a little bit of a kicker. Probably gonna put this one in my pocket for later. But we're filling up our fourth jar, so we'll see how, how far along we get there. So as we head into about half a gallon full of our fourth jar, we're starting to see that pretty tremendous drop in proof. We're nearing 80. And it's a little bit funky coming out. It's, it's sweet, so it's still palatable, but I think this is probably the end of the road here. So out of five gallons of 160 proof, we came out with about three and a half gallons worth of 190 proof. Well, in the tails, you know, started going down, but two gallons full of 190, and then kind of proceeded down from there. So overall, happy with the yield. I think we did an okay job and we're looking forward to future videos. We're going to be filtering this and maybe adding a few infusions, a few different flavors to it. Um, until next time guys, thank you for watching.